everyone, welcome back to the Iowa Homeschool Mom channel. Today we're going to be showing you our shelf work this month, which has a whole bug theme to it. We also did a bug theme morning basket for the month, and if you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description box for you in case you want to check it out. But yeah, so this month our shelves are going to be getting switched out with a whole bunch of different bug theme activities. And we did also raise and release painted lady butterflies. And then we just got some ladybug larvae. So we're going to be observing their life cycle as well. But yeah, so today we're just going to be showing you what activities we've done and what activities we have planned for the rest of the month. All right, you guys. So up top to start with over here, we just have our Montessori sandpaper letters. And I just have... The word bug spelled out for the kids this week and they just use their finger to trace the letters then up top we also have these little peg dolls that I made for the kids this week um, they're not completely finished quite yet I do need to seal them but we have a ladybug a bumblebee and then a jewel beetle which I think I'm actually gonna add some uh, use some wool felt to make the wings for this one instead of just the drawing on it. Yep, there's those. So the kids just really like to play with those. Um, and then we have a finger butterfly, a finger puppet for the kids. And they just like to play with this as well. And we use this while we're reading books during circle time to make it a little more interactive. And then we also have these printables that I got off of Etsy and I will link the Etsy shops for you guys below in the description box. But yeah, so we're not doing too much with the anatomy right now, but when my preschooler does ask me about the sheets, I'll just point out all the different parts of the ladybug and the parts of the butterfly here for her. Right, then we also have this little um, life cycle wheel of the butterfly and we just found this at the Dollar Tree and the kids just like to spin it um, and then on the back they have other types of butterflies as well and then this guys is an acrylic life cycle of the cabbage butterfly and we got this from naturewatch.com and it is just beautiful it's very nicely made and it has a male butterfly and a female butterfly on it. Yep, there's that and that doesn't always sit on the shelf that is usually up high and I just bring it down for the kids to look at occasionally. All right, moving on to the trays here. Well, the first one is some art and we just have these insect rubbing plates and I'm sure most of you are familiar with these um, they most of the time you see them as leaves or flowers um, this one came in a pack of 16 for insects so we got some and I don't have them all right here but these got some butterflies a dragonfly I think we have a beetle ant and a ladybug and then these are just some of the ones my preschooler has done so far. And she does need a little bit of help holding the paper in place while she's doing this. But she really enjoys it. So There's that. Then we have a layered puzzle. And this one's um, going over the butterfly life cycle. And this puzzle is a little challenging if all the pieces get mixed together. So what I like to do is have all the different layers into separate piles. And then I'll ask her what hatches out of these eggs. A caterpillar hatches out of one of these eggs. And then I would hand her that pile to do. And then so on and so on. But yeah, this is a really fun one. Then we have some symmetry slash matching work. And this is a free printable um, that I will link in the description box for you. 
but basically you just have to find the matching parts and match the butterfly up and this is one that my toddler even really enjoys doing and I think it came with um, I believe 12 butterflies yep there's that And then on the bottom shelf, we have another puzzle. And this one's a jumbo floor puzzle by Melissa and Doug. And then that is what the puzzle looks like when it's completed. So we've been doing this one together as a family. And puzzles are great for logic and fine motor. And then my preschooler will go through and identify all the different types of bugs that she knows. All right. And then over here on this top shelf, we have um, the butterfly life cycle. Again, um, this one, I just have a little tree cut out and I use permanent markers to kind of make the arrows. And then we have our Safari LTD figurines. And the chrysalis, the stick off of the chrysalis keeps breaking, but the kids still really like to play, play with it anyways. So they don't really care. It, Bugs me a little bit, but the kids don't care at all, so. All right, so, and then we also have this little file folder game to go with. And this one, guys, is free on my blog, and I'll link that for you as well. Um, but basically, they have to place the order of the life cycle. <clears throat> and so, go eggs. What hatches out of the egg? A caterpillar. The caterpillar eats and grows and grows. And then what happens when it's reached its maximum size? It turns into a chrysalis. And then what happens after about seven to 10 days? What comes out of the chrysalis? And my kids go, a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> And then they also use their Safari LTD um, figures to match. So this is, they love doing this, especially my toddler, that he loves to match up the figurines to the images. Yep, lots of fun. Just another activity to kind of go over the butterfly life cycle. And then we go on to the ladybug life cycle. So, and this is another free printable that I will link for you. Um, so basically the same kind of concept. Um, they would just have to, I would, since they can't read, I read this for them, eggs, and then they would have to match it up. Larvae, and then they would find the larvae pupa, adults. And then, so there's just a few different ways we use all these printables. Um, the kids can use their Safari LTD figures to match these as well. Or there's also these little cards and they can place them in order so they can go eggs larvae pupa adults and then i also have these letters in there and my preschooler can put the letters in order or sorry numbers in order wow numbers in order one two three four and then again they could go ahead and match them. So, yep, there's that. Lots of different ways you can do that with your kids. And then this tray was working on letter sounds. Um, and it just has a bunch of different bugs. So what does ladybug start with? And they would say L. And then this is also a great fine motor activity because they have to 
um, clip on those little clothes pins to the correct letter. So they got a few different ones in here, just working on letter sounds. And we have a counting activity. And this is another free printable. So I just printed off the jar, but this does come with some bugs you can print off as well. Instead, I used our little insects that I actually got from the Target Dollar Spot a few months back. Um, and I'm just having my preschooler pick out one of these um, wooden letters. And we actually got these at the Dollar Tree, guys. So she put two, and then I would just say, okay, let's find two bugs and put two bugs in our bug jar. And she could use her hands or she could use the tweezers. And she would just count one and two. So there's that. And then we have 12 bugs. So she even made the number 12 yesterday as well. And she put 12 bugs in, the, in her bug jar. There's that. And then we have a pre-writing activity. And this one is just working on tracing. And I put it in a little sleeve and a dry erase, um, and a protective sleeve that I got from the Dollar Tree. And the kids would just trace. And they really do love when they get to use dry erase markers, so they usually love doing these. And if you can't tell, my toddler has been writing on it. He just scribbles all over it, but he very much enjoys that. And then over here on the hook, we just have some butterfly wings that I got for the kids and they just like to wear these and pretend they're butterflies. All right, and then I just have a few more things to show you guys. Okay guys, so one of the other things I have to show you is our insect sensory bin. And for this, I dyed some rice with some green food coloring. And then I got some rocks at the Dollar Tree and then some kinetic sand. And then again, these insects are the ones I showed you with the counting activity. They came in a tube from the Target Dollar Spot. And then I also got at the Dollar Tree this little bug net and it's just some little tools and then I have some tweezers for the kids and then got another net a little bug jar that this came from the Dollar Tree as well and then I have just um, some shovels for the kids so yeah they're gonna have a blast playing with this I think we're gonna do this um, tomorrow so super excited, but we'll probably have to move this one to the basement because I feel like it's gonna get a little messy. We also have a cutting activity, working on scissor skills. And this is a free printable from Living Montessori Now. And basically your child would just um, do their best to cut along the dotted lines. And we also have some do a dot marker sheets from totschooling.net and these are free um, and you can work on letter recognitions, letter sounds, they can work on tracing if they want. Um, my kids just really enjoy do a dot markers um, using them so I'm sure they will enjoy these. Like that. And then lastly, we have a file folder game. And this one's working on letter recognition and it's just going um, matching lowercase letters to uppercase letters. So it's a good one if your child is just starting to get the hang of lowercase letters. So little Q to big Q, little I to big I, little J to big J. And they would just go on and on like that. Yep, yeah. so that is our last activity, guys. And I couldn't not show you guys our ladybug larvae. So these ladybug larvae just got here today, so they're still adjusting. But we have just really been enjoying observing them already so far.
Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have some bug inspiration for bug theme activities for your kiddos now. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell below to be notified when new videos are up. We do all things homeschool on this channel. So if you want that, be sure to subscribe. All right. Bye, everyone.